<sighs> I need more food in my brain and sleep. All right, like I mentioned in the video that I made before, um, I was listening to Boston and Leo talk while I was at the gym, came home, looking up how to contact this man and find out that he's dead. Crazy, really, uh, really just bothered, just fucked up my day even more. I was just like, Jesus Christ. Um, but one thing that uh, I've been reflecting on today because he was talking about this with Leo in the podcast, the um, Long Live podcast, I think it's called by Leo. Um, I think it's the second one that Boston's in. Uh, like Boston Returns or something like that. That's a clap to find a clip of that if I can figure out how to actually include a clip. Um, I think Leo mentioned to Boston about slowing down or stopping or something like that. Um, uh, AAS. And um, Boston said, you know, how do you get a crackhead to stop? And um, man, like when he said that, I thought it was pretty funny, right? Because Boston's a funny dude. And then, you know, throughout the days I've been thinking about him and thinking about his passing, uh, that has really resonated in my mind. Uh, I relate a lot to that sentiment. Like, how do you get somebody to stop fucking themselves? How do you get somebody to stop hurting themselves? And even, obviously, you know, you'll talk to somebody who's anything, uh, overweight, depressed, angry, and people will be like, well, they need to want to help themselves. Okay, let's say that's in check. Let's say somebody does want to help themselves. Then what? It's still incredibly difficult no matter what the addiction that you're facing is. Look at me. Look at me right now, right? I'm, I'm fat. You can see other videos on this channel. You can go check my Instagram right now. Like, I'm fat. I, I'm 270 right now or something like that. How'd that happen? Addiction to food, right? Eating too much. Not, not maintaining the integrity of my health. So... Uh, I have a lot of experience with uh, being addicted to things and and uh, I have a lot of experience fighting that and I have a lot of experience losing that fight and uh, for instance I will never know what my life would be like if I didn't do a fuckload of drugs right uh, one of the reasons that I got into looking into uh, steroids and PEDs and testosterone it started with testosterone because I was convinced that my testosterone was tanked from a decade of opiate abuse turns out it is I'm rocking like a 250 right now uh, my first test was 310 and my next test was 250 and those were within a few weeks of each other uh, elevated prolactin levels estrogen was fine um, etc et cetera, et cetera. doesn't matter who cares um, but that's why I started looking into all this because I was like, shit, yo, I deal with extreme bouts of depression and something's just not right. Uh, and so I started looking into this stuff. I guess I don't, I guess I don't really know what my point is in talking about this other than, you know, in that last, in that last video, I said that we should utilize, use Boston's passing to ameliorate things, to make the world better, to make ourselves better, to reflect on it positively. And uh, I think one thing that can definitely be garnered from this is that um, a lot of people battle with addictions of all different kinds and uh, very few people win. And so if you have one uh, in any way for any amount of time, then you know that's a victory, and you should be proud of that. And you should be happy of that, happy about that. And uh, you have a very clear reminder right now of what happens if you you can't necessarily get a hold of that, right? <clears throat> uh, so if you have any uh, victories, or if you're struggling or something like that, I'd love to hear about it. Please comment below. Please talk about it. Um, because uh, I think one thing that's really important for people that are going any type of addiction, it really doesn't matter, it's really all the same thing at the end of the day, it's the inability for somebody to overcome themselves. Uh, you know, it is, a, it is a battle against yourself at the end of the day. 
I think it's really important to know that there are people who have succeeded in some way, shape, or form, but there are people out there that do have your back. Um, and, you know, Reddit is not the place to go for that. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. All right, peace.